hi everyone welcome back to the channel aries the emperor here back with another general reading for my aries collective if you are new here guys welcome this is an all aries channel for all aries placements cross watchers are welcome as well you guys just take in mind that this reading may or may not resonate with everybody so just take what does and leave what does not okay do not force the reading all right, I just wanted to come on here and relay a few messages for you guys before I go to the doctor. Some of you know I've been huh, not feeling myself 100% since I've gotten back um, from my trip. So I'm just going to go and do a checkup here, you know, make sure everything is, is okay with Aries. All right, so I can keep coming on here um, and, and spending time with you guys. Let's jump into it, all right? Thank you guys to those who like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your donations. Um, they're not required, but they are greatly appreciated. Thank you to those who book readings. Um, I am working to send your readings out as well as candle orders will be going out um, after this video. And special thank you to everyone who has been purchasing the Zodiac pendants, all right? I'll, I'll leave the link in the description box. This is the moon here. Okay, and there's a little piece of opal light on the back of it. So I did have a few winners because we did do a contest. So you will be receiving emails. I'm very excited. Um, one lucky winner will win an actual pendant. And the other one, you will get a free video reading with your girl. Okay. So be looking out, you guys. If you purchased, um, you will be receiving an email. All right. So let's jump into it. If you'd like to connect with me, I will leave all of my info in the description box down below as usual. Okay. I know I have some emails to, to return. I will be responding to those as well, you guys. Look, this is the candle, the protection candle that I, I made and burned for you guys yesterday. So we're going to finish it out because it is sun and Scorpio, moon and Pisces at at this time here sensitive ass Pisces okay whether that's in your feelings or literally being able to sense things all right there could be individuals how do I say losing themselves in their problems um, in their feelings or this could be you okay especially regarding those that you are receptive to all right that have a impact on your life in some way shape or form or are able to, to trigger you okay pisces is a very imagine imaginative sign all right imaginative beings um and some may get lost in their own fantasies and they may want you to come along for the ride but nonetheless aries is here to make sure you stay Firmly planted on the ground, all right? Because you're the boss, the baby boss, you know? And um, you're in charge. So let's get into it, all right? And not only that, don't get me started. Sun in Scorpio at this time, aka pool of emotions. Olympic-sized swimming pool, to say the, le the least, all right? <laughs> so let's get into it. Let me put my glasses on. So I can see, and we're going to pull some messages. We're going to pull some random messages today to see what comes out for you guys. I'm wishing everybody love and light out there. If there is something that's triggering you, holding you back, um, if you're in lack or loss uh, in, of some sort here, I pray, you know, that you get back what you lost tenfold. You know, I, I pray you get your just due here, your good karma, your dharma. All right, let's get into it. We are going to pull the blue. The blue tarot here this is the blue gold foil tarot that we will be using today one of my favorite decks and when i split it the emperor was there wow okay spirit let's get into it holy spirit angels gods of the highest white light what messages do you have for my aries collective did you guys like the short i did the top five things to learn from an Aries. Uh, I, I've got more. We're going to do some more. All right. So stay tuned. Oh, Ooh, the Empress. Taurus, Libra energy. All right. This is the second house coupled with the seventh house. Seven equals nine. So 
Um, se seven plus two equals nine. So um, yesterday's reading revolved around the number 10, you know, 10, 10 here. Um, but I still feel like this is you um, and a stepping stone in your life here or in your career or just in general, you stepping into a singular energy of some sort here. Um, you putting yourself on a pedestal here, maybe others noticing that, you know, the empress has the 12 stars in her crown chakra, which represents the 12 months in a year. And not only that, you know, it's her kicking ass through each and every month of that year, you know, where there is literally, she's had to sit on that throne and just direct things and point her finger, or she's had to get up off that throne and literally create and manifest fest and bring some things to fruition that's what that scepter is for you know that's her power as well representing that Okay, so I feel like this could be the energy that you are embodying at this time here. You could have Taurus Libra placements. Um, we do have a full moon in Taurus coming on the 28th, which is an eclipse as well. So get ready. <laughs> the the energy continues, you know, and, and like I said, you know, this is a time for some of you, you know, it's going to be a wild ride, you know, but just hold on, you know, you almost there. And, and if you in this Empress energy, you may not feel like it, but I feel like this may be how people are perceiving you in some way, shape or form here. You know, you look like that, you know, you, you kick life's ass and you not somebody that struggles with it, you know, um, but just like us all, you know, either you deal with it or you drown in it, you know, and with you Aries, it's no drowning in it. You know, you are a stand up individual here, whether you sitting down or literally standing up here and um, that exudes that gives Empress emperor energy this is um the female divine feminine counterpart of the emperor here so take it how it res resonates look at this and my crown i mean my throat chakra here is i can't even talk today but um this is the the female energy to the male counterpart of the emperor and we both embody um divine feminine and divine masculine traits here okay we got the temperance, Sagittarius energy here, okay? You loving yourself, you being, um, well, all right. Somebody wants you to be a part of their nightmare, okay? Or are you giving somebody nightmares here? So much so, it's reflecting onto me, but that's okay. What's that saying? Where there is great power, there is great responsibility here. And this is what you holding in your hand. Did I not say you may not feel it, but this is how you being perceived. This is the magician, Aries energy, all right? And I really feel like this is somebody also possibly with their eye on you. Like somebody is losing sleep over you in a sense is what this is giving here. It's an energy of be careful what you wish for. Like somebody is manifesting you in some way, shape or form. And not to say they just might get it, but they just may have met their match in the form of you here. Okay. And the nine of swords here, like I mentioned here, like somebody is in a never ending nightmare. And I feel like they may have wanted you to be a part of that, the devil energy, but you've escaped, you know, you see the true value in yourself here. And, and it's not being, um, tied down. It's not being manipulated here. You know, you have a special type of magic about you. Um, you have a, a special type of presence about you. You could be a teacher of some sort here. Um, literally, you, you definitely are taking power. You're not making excuses for anything. You know, you taking the resources that you do have and you making the best out of your situation wherever you may fall, you know, in life at this time here or in your journey. But the most important is, most important thing is, I don't know why I keep getting, I've got the power. <laughs> like literally is what this magician is giving me um and they gonna feel it you know what i'm saying all of the lights like kanye west like said in that song here um i feel like you are bringing something to the table that you know somebody didn't even know that they needed but um once you bring it you know it, it, there's no going back you know it's just like an energy of um like I mentioned here, like they can't get you out of their head. They can't get rid of you. 
They can't manipulate you. They can't slow you down. They can't stop you. There's just growth and you're just birthing out ideas or you're just trans, um, muting yourself. You're transforming, you know, into, into something that is more powerful, um, as you grow. And as time goes on here, you know, you got to be resourceful, um, to be the magician here. And the magician doesn't just sit on their ass. You know, there's somebody that works hard, even though you don't see them working hard behind the scenes, you know, it's a whole lot of magic going on. I'm also getting that movie, like the prestige, like somebody thought, that they was the magician until you showed up. Like, that's really the energy that I'm getting off of this, you know? How they was trying to one-up each other in that movie. Like, that movie was slept on. I just, I could watch that movie a billion times. I did have to watch it so I can just really catch the understanding of it, you know? Ain't no fun when the rabbit got the gun. And he showed him at the end. And I feel like you're going to show somebody here, baby. And that's where they're headed. You trying to put me in hell, you're already there. Or they're already headed there it is what somebody um, is dealing with right now, okay? It's like a mental prison or of some sort that somebody has created for themselves, trying to create it for you. But eh, 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 not the light that you have or not the crown that you carry. Um, like I mentioned, she's got those 12 stars for a reason. Each and every month of this year, you're going to show up and you're going to show out all the way till December 31st, baby. And when January 1st hits 2024, hmm, you better count your blessings. Because that's when the light show is really going to begin, right? Knight of Cups. All right, Cancer Energy. You could have Cancer aspected in your chart or this could be a Cancer um, that was trying to play you. You know what I mean here? And and the Knight of Cups can be a player as well, you know. Somebody that offers you a cup, um, but it may not just be drinkable, you know. It may not be what you want, but this is like forceful energy here. This is somebody that thinks they know it all in a sense. Somebody that likes the spotlight in a sense here. Somebody that I feel like, not only that, this is Scorpio energy. <laughs> that pool of emotions I was speaking on. I feel like this is like somebody thinks that they can lay it on thick and anybody will fall for it, but not you. You're too smart for that. You're too fast for that. You're too quick for that. You know, like I said, you're the emperor slash the magician here. And nothing trumps that. With the four wands at the bottom of the deck, you don't need others to celebrate you. You celebrate yourself. When you get up in the morning, you thank spirit, you thank God for placing you back on this earth with good health and good standing and another opportunity to make not only your day but make somebody else's day as well here you know that's aries are are really givers like that's one thing that they cannot take away from you even though they may take away from you because people like to try and play in your energy and play on your emotions because they see that innocence in you um but they also don't see you know that the power within you as well here when you cross that line um, and that's literally, you see these lines here, how these two figures are behind these, this foundation, these four pillars, and there's an even bigger foundation behind them, the castle, you know, that you're building. That's how much more that you have to give. You know, these four wands are just the surface of you. You know, there are so many depths and so many levels to you that people don't even give you an opportunity to show them or, or even be real with you. You know what I'm saying? They're too busy trying to see what they can get out of you. And it's too late, um, you know, when they, when they do bite the hand that feeds them. You know, they really miss out on a good individual here. Um, and I feel like that's what somebody here is dealing with. You know, they can't circle back around with this cup. You know, you've already had a, a drink of it um, and you'll pass this time is what I'm getting from this. You know, you're choosing yourself and I'm proud of you. Damn, don't be mad at me. Four of Wands. Be mad at yourself, cross watcher. Fool me once. Shame on you. Fool me twice. Shame on me. Fool me three times. The peace sign. Load the choppers. Let it rain on you. Okay? <laughs> In the words of J. Cole, nobody's perfect, right? All right, what other messages? I said this wasn't going to be long, y'all. We're almost 15 minutes in.
All right, spirit, what other messages? The hanged man, the spiritual one, the enlightened one, the one that has taken sacrifices and losses, the one has the one that has not missed out on opportunities because when opportunity does knock, you're going to answer and it's going to be just for you, right? And that's the energy. This is Pisces energy here. Like I said, you know, people may be trying to drown you in their emotions. Oh my God, Scorpio Pisces is out here. Look at this, trying to keep you stuck and make you drink from this rotten cup. Uh -uh, not this time. You let them live in that pool of emotions and you let them fantasize and you let them live in those delusions and you watch from afar. All right, you go get you some popcorn. Um, but I don't see you taking action into any of these energies here trying to project, project onto you. King of Wands, um, Leo energy, Leo liar. This could be a liar as well. Um, in some way, shape, or form here that, that once did have an impact on your life. but And this could be anybody. It just doesn't have to be um, romance of some sort. But like I mentioned, you know, you put your foot down on something here and you showing them where the door is. Yeah, you might be a king, but I'm on some queen shit. And, and just like you, I have a say-so. I'm a ruler. And not only that, you got a bird's eye view. You can see the prey. You can see the, the bullshit coming. And you can stop it in your tracks here. Is what I see um, for, <laughs> for you in general. All right, Spirit, give me one more. I'm going to the close the read now because you're out here twice. The emperor is looking like it's got next up in this tarot spread here. Four of Cups, more Cancer energy. Ten of Cups, more Cancer energy is what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck here. You know, this I feel like is, let me get one more so we can balance out. It's like four cups is more energy of being stuck. It's like soaking. Somebody could be drinking, overindulging here. We have the emperor. Did I not say the emperor was popping up, wanting to come out? And here it is out here. You know, somebody is crying. But guess what? They're going to have to cry all by themselves this time. I'm like, you're not interested here. This could have to do with a mother figure of some sort here or a father figure of some sort. Um, but I see you taking control. You know, you've been there and done that. It's a new sheriff in town. You got the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. You know, like we like to call this Big Aries energy here, not the little one. You know, this time around, you know, you taking all opportunities, like I mentioned, that knock. Even if they don't knock, you taking life by the balls here and you creating opportunities for yourself and you embarking on new endeavors. Um, and that's how you need to be. You know, the emperor is an energy, not to say it's a, a male or a female. It's a, a boss mentality. It's stability. It's structure. You know, it's making tough decisions and, and knowing that, you know, somebody got to do it at the end of the day here. And, and I feel like that's you, you know, at one point in time, maybe you didn't see the bigger picture. Maybe you didn't know where you were going, but you're not going to sit there anymore and, and let life life you. You're going to go out there and life life, <laughs> if that makes sense, right? So I'm going to leave this message here. Like I mentioned, you know, to anybody that's out there going through anything, any struggles, or you feel like something is holding you back, you know, you are the master of your, the master manifester or the master of your destiny. You know, you hold the keys to your life here. And, and whether you are entrepreneur or not, because I know everybody don't want to be a boss. Everybody's not in that type of position. You know, there's why there's all different types of avenues and walks of life for us all to adventure down. You know, that's why I tell you, figure out what's in your car cards, what's in your natal chart. You know, we need doctors, we need lawyers, we need veterinarians, you know, we need the, all of this makes the universe go round, you know, so just find out where you fit in in that and take control over that and be the emperor and be the boss in that, you know, make yourself proud 
And either way it goes, you know, the universe is still smiling down upon you and there is still opportunity as long as you getting up and you walking out those that front door out there, okay? I love you guys as usual. Um, I'll catch you later, all right? Hit that like and subscribe button. Big Aries. Ciao. <laughs>